Hello, what's up guys? So in this lesson, uh, what we're going to learn is if else statement, okay? So in last video, we learned about the if statements. In if statements, what it does is it's check, it checks the condition and if it's true, it performs particular things. So let's go back to our flowchart and see. That's the same flowchart from the last video. But over here, we are going to create a project in which if it's yes, uh, if x is less than 10, then we're going to display output x is less than 10. If it's not, we're going to display output x is not less than 10. Okay, so that's the difference. So let's go back to our software file, new project. We're going to name it as if else statement. All right, if else statement. Here we go, we have our project up and running. Uh, what we can say is we're gonna, we're gonna delete console.write line as usual. Once we delete that, uh, we write integer x equals to assign a value, any value you can assign. Okay, we have if statement. As you remember from the last video, we're gonna say if x is less than 10, okay, we gotta do this thing. Nothing new from last video. Console dot write line and display x is less than ten. This is all what we had done in the last project. But what we're gonna add in this project is we're gonna go right after this. Press enter. Type else. Press enter. We're gonna have another curly brackets. And we're gonna say console dot right line, okay? Console dot right line. What we need to do now is to uh, say x is not less than n, okay? Uh, so we are writing about this condition over here. So console dot right line x is not less than 10. So let's go ahead and understand our project. If x is less than 10, if this condition is true, it's going to print this thing. Okay. If this is not true, in our case it's not, so it's going to print this thing. x is not less than 10. So debug, start without debugging. And here it says x is not less than 10 because x is equals to 12. Let's go ahead and make the value of x equals to 8. Debug, start without debugging and you can see now it says x is less than 10 because x equals to 8 but let's let's see the, this scenario and we're gonna learn about this in our next video but what if x equals to 10 um, what's your guess what will be the output so let's go ahead and run this project where x equals to 10 debug start without debugging and it says x is not less than 10. Why does it say that? Because if you compare over here, is 10 less than 10? It says no. 10 is not less than 10. So automatically, what it does, it, it goes to this and says x is less than 10. Let's understand through the flowchart. It checks this condition. Okay. Is 10 less than 10? Yes or no? It says no. Nope. Then it's going to print this thing. Output x is not less than 10. So how to overcome this problem? Uh, we're going to discuss about that in our next video. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.